Three years since resigning as Portsmouth Police Chief, Tanya Chapman is returning to Portsmouth leadership. In a tense meeting last night, city council members voted four to three to appoint Chapman as the next city manager. She replaces Angel Jones, who was abruptly fired last month. Ten on your side, Andy Fox continues our coverage. Andy. Yeah, Lena. What happened last night in that 4-3 vote to bring back Tanya Chapman clearly shows the dysfunction on Portsmouth City Council. It also highlights the reason concerned citizens of Portsmouth are looking to recall two council members from their positions. Listen to Portsmouth Mayor Shannon Glover trying to remove Councilman Mark Whitaker from the council meeting. Sir, I do not need you to tell me to get order. I have the gavel. You do. You are out of order. Please have him removed from my chair. It took a 4 3 vote to keep Whitaker in the meeting, which is the same 4 3 vote that appointed former police chief Tanya Chapman to be the new city manager. And residents watching, not happy. Whitaker led the four vote majority, and critics argue it did an end run around the inclusion of the mayor and two other council members. The mayor should and absolutely be involved in any negotiations of hiring anyone to lead our city. Mayor Glover says he and the two other council members found out about this vote in a closed meeting right before council met. Vice Mayor DeAndre Barnes. When we had a meeting to discuss the city manager position, we discuss everything that is being talked about in the meeting right now in a closed meeting. Barnes and Whitaker both facing a possible recall by voters, in part because they excluded Mayor Glover and the two other council members from the vetting of Chapman to be the city manager. We have a candidate who was not discussed by the whole council, who was fired, released by the city of Portsmouth. The meeting deteriorated so much, Mayor Glover adjourned the meeting. To move forward, we've got to regroup and come together and lead this city in the direction that the majority of the citizens want this city to go. Right now, there's not a lot of people that think that will happen. Coming up tonight at 6, Councilman Bill Moody tells us what he thinks needs to happen to get the council back on track. He also points to two water towers in Portsmouth that are symbolic of Portsmouth's failure to be better than what she is. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.